welcome back to my channel if you are returning and clicking on another one of my videos but if you are new hello welcome please make sure to subscribe button down below i would love it if you join my little family here on youtube <laughs> i do post every monday wednesday and friday but just in case make sure to turn those bell notifications on just so that you don't miss any of my videos so now for today, the reason that you clicked on this video, I will be doing a first impression slash review on this Eloise mini teardrop brush. Now I did get this in my boxy charm and I was super excited to try this out just because this is my first time getting a well having a brush like this and actually using it. So that is why I was super excited about it. This is my first time using a brush to blend in all of my creams and girl. I tell you the tea. So make sure to stay tuned to the very end so that you guys can know exactly how I felt about the brush. And I do give you guys a little bit of a demo, exactly how I use it and all of that good stuff. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see my first impression slash review on this Eloise mini teardrop brush, then make sure to keep on watching. All right, you guys. So I know I look a little bit crazy but I did want to put on my foundation do basically all of my creams on camera with you guys so you guys can see exactly how it works this is my first time using actually a brush to put on it any of my makeup at all like I feel like I've always just stuck with my beauty sponges just because I'm so in love with them but because I really wanted to try this brush out I was like I gotta do it on camera. And if I'm doing it wrong, then don't judge me, judge yourself. <laughs> but, um, so once again, I am gonna be using the Eloise Mini Tear Drop Brush. This is how the brush looks like inside, and oh my goodness, I just thought it was the most beautiful thing ever. And it is rose gold. So it is literally in the shape of a teardrop, which is super, super cute. And they did do it so that your hand can literally just go into the brush and then you can just swipe it on. I honestly don't know if this is supposed to be like swipe a pad. Who knows? We're going to figure it out together. <laughs> but yeah, so that is what it looks like. It honestly feels so soft. So I'm super, super excited to see how it looks. But it does say that it's a great application for foundation, concealer, bronzer, finishing powder, body paint, soft tanning, special effect finishes. Um, yeah, it doesn't say how to use. This is probably like dummy proof. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going to apply it on my face like I normally would. And in case any of you are wondering, I am using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation. I am in the shade 103 True Ivory. Been loving this foundation. It smells amazing. But honestly, I, I feel like it just gives me the most natural foundation that I could want. And it is also very buildable. Okay, anyways, we're just gonna go straight in with this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the thicker side of the brush to kind of do my foundation and then I'm gonna use the smaller one for my concealer. So let's just, I don't know. Am I just supposed to wipe? I don't know how this works. Oh. I'm using swiping motions just because I feel like with the tapping motion it just doesn't do anything for my face <laughs> so I'm just blending it in okay I'm gonna use the tip for this area here I I feel like low key it it kind of like sucked up a little bit of my foundation. I don't know if you guys can like notice right here on the crease of my nose. It's kind of like building up right there when normally it doesn't build up for me there. I'm gonna go in with my concealers. The ones that I normally do use are the e.l.f. Uh, I have both of them, the hydrating one and the 16 hour, and they work beautiful. 
beautifully. I love them. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And then I'm going to use the top part of the teardrop and I'm going to go ahead and blend this in. Yeah, guys, I don't know how this is supposed to work here. <laughs> I'm like, something's not right. I'm like, I mean, I want it to blend, obviously. Okay, and then I'm going to use the, the side that I use for the foundation to kind of blend this out. And not, oh my word. This can't be. <laughs> oh my. really wanted to like this brush I really did I'm gonna do like a close-up for you guys so it, I have like a little well a little bit I have a dry spot right here under my eye right now that I'm trying to take care of but I do have a dry spot right there and you can see how much it's clinging on to this concealer for dear life it's like leave me alone like do not touch me anymore and I feel like the brush like just just didn't work for me there and it's also creasing in my lines pretty terribly like it's kind of doing like what the foundation was doing like in this little area right here but under my eyes because i do i obviously do have like little wrinkles under my eyes and this just like accentuates them to the max but i do feel that maybe it could work like if you're just throwing on like a bb cream maybe i'm thinking that's what it could work for but oh my goodness guys this looks insane okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face off of camera and i'll be right back so that we can chit chat a little bit about this brush Alrighty, guys so i have already done the rest of my face off of the camera and guys i really really wanted to love this brush so bad you guys seen how excited i was when i opened it on up and i if you haven't watched my boxy charm unboxing i'll make sure to link it down below so that you can go ahead and make sure to check that out but i was super excited when i got it in my boxy charm and i was like girl like if this like actually works like it might replace my beauty sponge and it just wasn't it and also it could be that i was using it the wrong way i've never used a brush like this before so i i don't know i, I believe that the only way that you could honestly really apply it is by swiping or tapping and i did both motions because i was like girl like you have to give it a try you have to give it a chance like no <laughs> but i mean honestly my face looks actually really really nice like on camera like the foundation and the concealer like it's set really nicely like everything sit on top of everything really really nicely i didn't have any issues with that the issues that i did have was that uh this foundation normally does increase on me on my nose like in this area right here and i don't know if you can tell but it's kind of like bunching up on me right there like you can kind of see there but it's like really bunching up on me right here and i even tried to like kind of blend it out with like the tippy top of the of like this side of the brush and it would get in there like really really nice i think the the really really nice part about this shape of brush is that it can get into like the little corners right here uh these little areas right here and yeah i loved the shape of it i love the concept of it but the fact that it like made my nose kind of crease where it normally doesn't um was kind of like no <laughs> and then i don't know if you guys can see i did mention it in the video but i do have a little bit of a dry spot right here under my eye and it's clinging 
so much to that dry spot and i don't know if it's because i was swiping um that it just like clung to that area really quickly i did try to kind of like pat that area but it didn't work after that after that so it was just like a big no for me like in person it looks so much worse but on camera i don't know i don't know that it's picking it up too much but you can kind of see it like it's outlined like all right here like this whole area right here it's like clinging onto that spot so bad so i feel like if you have dry skin this is just not it like it's just gonna cling on to every single dry spot that you have and honestly maybe it could be maybe if i use like a certain oil um to go when I blend out like my foundation and my concealer maybe that could make a huge difference so I definitely have to give it maybe another try to see how it actually works and maybe use like different techniques in order to have everything like blend seamlessly now it did give me a hard time to blend I felt like I was blending for like ever which is fine you know like I blend with my beauty sponge I blend with my beauty sponge which I that I was not like a big deal to me but the fact that like it wasn't like blending it was kind of like sinking into like spots on my face and it, i had to like blend it really hard for it to like completely like go away um you can see here that it doesn't look like crazy crazy like concealer splotches everywhere but when i was initially blending it in i mean you can see that like girl something was going on there <laughs> yeah that is what i noticed my first time using this brush i feel like honestly it also did like suck up a lot of my foundation um which i don't mind i could honestly just like apply more but it definitely did do that you could tell like big time on my nose when i was blending it out on my nose um i do have a lot of redness on my nose so you can definitely tell when the foundation is being just like dragged away almost and i felt like that's what was happening and maybe on my nose you kind of have to pat but i'm not 100 percent sure like i said it's my first time using a brush like this so uh i do have to keep playing with it but first impressions of it i'm not too fond of it i keep trying it i'll definitely let you guys know in the comment section down below or in the description box um but yeah i just i don't know do you guys have any brushes that are similar to this that you guys love i'll definitely love to hear your guys' feedback on that or if you've tried this brush before and it works amazing on you let me know down in the comment section down below i would love to hear all about it but that was just my experience on using the this type of brush for the first time and honestly just using this brush in general so yeah i do want to say really quickly before i do end this video the price of this brush is 45 dollars. it is meant to almost replace whatever tool you're using for your foundation and for your concealer and that's why it was like kind of like a big thing for me i wanted it i wanted to really know if it's something that could replace my beauty sponge um what i use to apply all of my creams and I don't think off of first impressions I definitely don't think that it would replace my beauty sponge my beauty sponge is literally everything to me and it blends out everything so nicely and this just I had a little bit of hiccups down the road so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe and make sure to turn those bell notifications on just so that you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you all in the next one